Right, the tracks head west. If we hurry, we can catch him. Load up, everyone. This is not a good idea. Why the hell not? We're lower water. If we go hunting them now, we have no idea how long we're gonna be out there. And Bopa says the water's that way. We have to find her. You have the map and the key to the mines. If you ask me, it's not us that's going to be looking for them, it's them that's going to be looking for us. Well, I did not ask you, Henry. Be keeper, let's move. You're not thinking, Alan! Violence is for you! Bring nothing! Something. We must make the girl our first priority. But we won't save her if we die of thirst. The only water in this part of the desert is the oasis at Queen Sheba's eye. Like all creatures, we must go there to drink. And so must the men who have got Miss Maitland. I see you again. Move out. Tell me again, Miss Maitland. I don't know anything. You're wasting your time. The map that your father sent you belongs to the Tsar. We want it back. Well, I haven't got it. So I suppose you're out of luck. And so are you. Wait. Just wait. You gave Quartermain the map, didn't you? What if I did? We were partners once. He and I. You can't trust him. You can say what you want. And you can treat me how you like. Quartermain is never going to give you the key. There's a key? We find Quartermain. We offer him a deal. The map and the key for her life. What if you won't do it? Oh, didn't you hear the lady? Quartermain is an honorable man. And he's a sucker for a beautiful face. He'll trade you for the wealth of King Solomon's mines, won't he, my lady? <laughs> Let's circle back, John. ID. How far do you think to sheep his eyes? I, I don't know. Some time ago. I certainly hope you know where you're going, because frankly, I'm lost. You won't find your way with that. It's a large desert. Don't worry, we'll find Miss Maitland. You must have faith in your ancestors. Faith. <laughs> you know, for a wise man, you put a lot of faith in these ancestors. And for a wise man, you don't put enough.
Do you pray, Professor? I do. You speak English? I speak anything that you need to hear. I'm here to warn you. You must pray to your God. Pray for your daughter. What are you talking about? Well, there are men who want what Twala wants. They say it belongs to them. They have taken your daughter. What? And if they don't bring her back, they will take the mines. And if they take the mines... Well, why are you I... telling me this? Why aren't you telling Twala? Because I sense a great change for our people. But only if she survives. Your daughter's destiny is not written. There is much spirit about her. <laughs> I know. Pray that she survives. We will never get out of here alive. Never. Day. An hour, two at the most. I don't think your man is going to make it. Leave him here. Give him some water. Why? Dead men don't drink. Why do you follow him? You ever hear of March of Death? Two years ago, the Tsar ordered 150 of his men to march all the way across Russia. St. Petersburg to Vladivostok. Just for fun. It was middle of winter. Suicide, and they knew it. But they went. Only one man made it. It was him. Don't waste your bullets. <laughs> Miss Maitland, you got any water? I think you should come back. I'd rather die! If you die, so does your father. Keep moving, Captain. 
Get up, Captain. I can't go on. Stay here, you die. Let me die! Captain, a man of the sea like yourself does not want to die in the desert. Hey, they'll insult the water. You boys fight rough. Come on. Get up here. You gotta got keep moving. Still wet. The tracks lead away. They've gone. I don't like it. What can they do? We have her. weapons and let her go. Wait. Listen to me very carefully, Mr. Quarterman. Before I count to ten, you and your men will walk down to us. Very slowly. With your weapons raised above your head. If you don't, I will shoot Miss Maitland. Are we understood? The count begins now. One. Two. Don't play games with him, Quarterman. He means what he says. Three. Four. Five. Just give us the map and the key and we'll let Miss Maitland go. Six. Seven. Eight. All right. I'm coming down. We're all coming down. Don't do it. I trust that an officer of the Tsar is a man of his word. We are soldiers, Mr. Quartermain, not murderers. Now drop your weapons. I said drop your weapons. I will give you whatever you want, but I will not drop my weapon. Then I will kill her. It seems that you are in a tough spot, sir. One trigger pull, 
You will never see the key, nor the mines. For that matter, you will be dead. And you lose your lady friend. Why don't you just shoot me? And let Van Fogelia blow you to pieces while you reload? I want the map, and I want the key. Anything you say, sir. Take it. Good. Now I'm sure you'll understand, Mr. Cotterman, we need some distance. Let's move. Don't do anything stupid, Miss Maitland. <laughs> Just my leg. Your daughter lives and continues a journey to our land. Oh, this does not make you happy? Yeah, I'm happy that she's alive, but I'm... I'm not happy that she's come here to save me. I should never have let her put her life at risk. Are you all right to worry about her? Twal is an unpredictable man. It is very dangerous that she come here. Well, what kind of a father am I to put my own daughter in such jeopardy. Well, the better question is, what kind of father are you that your daughter would risk her life to save you? traded a key for me. If I had, you'd be dead now. He's quite right, Elizabeth. These men are barbarians. They'll suffer nothing to get to the mines. Ah, I'd like to get hold of that McNabb and take the map back. Oh, he's well gone. So the next landmark on the map is the breast of Sheba. What do you suppose they are? Sheba's breasts, I believe. Having never met the woman, of course. Right. Now what we have to do is find McNabb. Mbopa. So you say you know these mountains? Then you take the lead. Worried, McNabb. Coulterman has no idea where we are.
This is Sheba's smile. We walk through here down to Sheba's breast. Oh, Sheba's smile. It's not her smile I'm worried about. It's her teeth. Rocks. Watch your step. Keep it. High ground left. Got you good? Here. B, you stay with me. I'm Miss Maitland. If things go south and I have to move, you stay right here. You stay put, you understand? Yeah. Okay. and move off. All right, take it easy. Just take it easy. McNabb. Drop the bag, McNabb. And move off. Come on! 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 Come on!
Shut my nap. Gods of the earth, sun and the stars, take our brother and make from his body a great tree. Let it be a reflection of what Shiva's life was on this earth. join you? Sure. I couldn't sleep. I kept thinking about Kiva. Me too. When I was a little girl, my mother died. I was so confused and frightened. The night after her funeral, my father came to my room to comfort me. He told me that my mother's spirit would always be with us. To prove his point, he picked me up and carried me outside and we lay on the ground and looked at the stars and he pointed to one and he said, every time God closes a door on life, he opens a window into heaven to let the light shine down forever. That's lovely. Helped. 
was it, wasn't it? Bulb is gone. No track sign, nothing. Just disappeared. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe he just went home. We'll make a fire. Be some goofy. Come on, we go. Give me the knife. We're partners now, you and me. I'll do it. It's not about the money, McNabb. It was never about the money. I want the stone of the ancestors. You don't believe a stone has any real power. I am here for the Tsar. He believes that the tribes of Africa believe it has power. That is enough. What on this? Hold still. There she comes. There she comes. What is it, Courtney? You don't suppose they're cannibals, do you? This is the tribe holding my father. Well, things just go from bad to worse, don't they? Well, get a lot worse for you, Mac. <laughs> I saved you that trouble! <laughs> 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 Infalme win. What is he saying? Mboka says he's the king. Mboka's a king. Maling, how sangi kumbudi? Utotoni mimi na mama to litoroka to kahama nyumbani kwetu. Singa kolo ganjani. Oni na nenga ani bahambe ba kalu kwa dule. Nasinda ganjani. Yevo. Nimerudi. Kuchukua kiti changu. Babae tuwala alimuwa babangu. Na kuiba haki yangu. Kuna njia mwana tu. Na kukikisha wewe ni mtota ya baba wako. Hili. Hilo hakikishu. Nkosi. Hmm. Kulu me labelu. Awa. Ni walinzi. Na wafanyi kazi wangu. Na 
na hawa ni watumwa. What did he say? He says this lot are his bodyguards. You and I are his slaves. I'm nobody's slave. What is this, some kind of a joke? Bow down. The Kwakwanis will kill any intruder to our land. If you want to live, you must do as I say. Drop down. The mines are close, I can smell it. This is perfect. They will lead us right there. Where do you think they're taking us to? Well, you gotta meet a man who killed in Boba's father. Twana? Hey, seems like that. I'm sorry for not telling you of my birthright sooner. So why didn't you? I was not sure you'd come with me to this place, knowing the task I would have to perform. Whoa, wait. So, you planned this all along? The gods have foretold that you would help me to be king. In exchange, I will help you to survive this place. Where does my father come into this? Malingo has told me that Twala holds a white man prison. If he is still alive, when I am king, he will be free. What if you don't become king? Quatermain, may I have the key? What are you doing? This key is the only thing I have to help my father. The key is all I have to win my birthright and defeat Twala. Twala is a cruel king, Miss Maitland. He kills people and steals their land. If you give him the key, he will find the stone of the ancestors. The stone will give him the power to talk to the gods. And if that happens, there will be no stopping him. I think we can trust him, Elizabeth. Bantu, Bamakongwani. 
Guillaume Lé. Indoor, I'm sloppy. Gina manga. No monto. Yo colis. Un cosi yenu. Le scatto sono clint, è secco. Mbulaleni! Aussi le tel à Balungo. Baboula! Nifukuza mimi na mama angu. Sasa nimerudi nyumbani. Uti yunkosi. Ngubane, uhamba nawe. Imena, kia masu yise. Kia asu kusi yunkosi yoko. Leklela. Mina, kinimpi ya sigidi eti yunkosi. Gagul. Wewe unijui. Will you do it well? Shambe. The key, Mbopa. Give Twala the key. Mtoto wa hui mzungu wa meileta. Nita mpaka gul. Aishike. Mpaka tuamue nani ni mfalme. Lakini kwanza utamuacha hui mze mzungu. Mimi nataka tuemue nani ni mpalme. Mimi nataka nomolos. 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 You may choose one man to fight for you. I will choose one of my slaves to fight for me. Who is left alive at the end is Master Shabby King. Zolwa, we no more lost Kusasa. No more lost! No more lost! No more
Why is it this way? She's preparing the food with the other servants. What do they want with us? Your head's on a stake. You know, at this stage, I really don't care if they do put my head on a stake. Just so long as it's right beside yours. Hand me your weapons. That means you too, soldier. wins no more loss. I want it. Oh. oh, my king would be wise not to test my magic. You are making a big mistake. All right. I agree. I had my way. I string his both up by the neck. But Mbopa's a compassionate man, right? Now you have a good night's sleep. Cheng. Cheng. Yeah. Of course. I hope a mosquito bite a million holes in you. If you get hungry, then you can just bite each other's noses off, right? Shove off. Right? I feel so ashamed. Oh, Father, you have nothing to be ashamed of. I should never have written that letter. I'm afraid, Elizabeth. I was so afraid. I know. I understand. I, I, I thought it would buy me time. Give me a chance to escape. I should never have sent it. If you hadn't sent it, I wouldn't be here now, would I? But I put you and those men who helped you into such danger. Is everything all right? Twala has chosen his warrior to fight for him. And what about Mbopa? Who's going to fight for him?
your fight. I'm going to give you one more chance to walk away. Take all the whites and leave. I won't harm you. And Umbopo, what about him? I'll deal with Umbopa in my own way. And I will fight as agreed. Then you are a fool. Take your weapon. Fight my warrior as agreed, or I will kill you myself. Do it. 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 Do it.
stone of the ancestors. You do not. Why? I do not seek power over the African people. But you seek wealth, which in the end gives you power, does it not? You are wise. Oh, you flatter me. 
the white man who fights for Ignosi. You cannot trust him. You envy him. And so long as you envy him, you must follow him. Go. Your journey does not end here. find what I seek. Yes. But you can never possess it. Crazy old fool that ever lived. And my friend. I was held by Twala. This woman was the only person to show me any compassion. You may sit with us. I know you've done much for me, my friend, but I have one final favor to ask. What would that be? As long as men are interested in the power of the stone of the ancestors, my people will not be safe. It must be destroyed. You want me to destroy the stone? It was foretold. The ancestors. You have a strong voice within you. Listen, trust. You will find what you see.
Well, I can go no further. I understand. shoot each other you got the key the mines are yours but that's not what you want is it you want a piece of me it's what this is all about isn't it so here's your chance shoot me with my own gun?
This speaks of the stone of the ancestors. And of King Solomon's desire to unite the tribes of the world into one kingdom. This one speaks of his love for the Queen of Sheba. Not much of a talker, are you? Actually, I like to talk. Maria and I used to talk about hopes and dreams and a farm, and we would talk all night long about nothing. That's the first time I heard you mention her name. I don't know, did. Oh, I'm sorry. If you don't want to talk about anything and you'd prefer to just sit here, that's fine too. Have someone to talk to. Actually, I was thinking that um, if you know we got out of here, that uh, I'd like to ask you about if you wanted to be with me, because. I do not want everything to go away. And never feel again the way it feels when I'm with you. So I was uh, thinking that uh, <laughs> if I had asked you to marry me, what might you have said?
Will you marry me? Yes. I will. My God, I so want to kiss you. Kiss me. The ring. It's worth a try. Don't worry. I won't hold you to what you said down there. <laughs> Come here. How about if I hold you for the rest of your born days? That would be nice. Had enough fun for one day. 
It's okay, Miss Cutter, man. He couldn't catch me even if he tried. Come on, let me see what you can do. Awesome. Awesome. Get him over here. Awesome. Come on. See.